because this is an off-road truck, I figured I'll start the video showing you guys this. So here's some of the skid plates up front. And here's one of the skid plates for where the transfer case is. And you also have one for your fuel tank. And check that out. I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but there is a skid plate for the diff out back. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a skid plate for the diff on any truck. And then you do get a full size spare tire down below. Now let's go ahead and get to the video. Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have a Sierra 1500 AT4X. This is a 2023 and it has the AEV package on it. It's finished in sterling silver and I'm at Jerry Signer Buick GMC here in South Jordan, Utah. This truck is sold unfortunately, but man, I'm sure they have some more coming in. So if you are in the market, be sure to check out the inventory. Let's get into the video. So here's the base price of this truck, 81.7. And then this truck had the sterling metallic paint for $495. And that AEV edition package was $68.95. And then just really quickly, here's what's gonna come in there. Be sure to pause it. And then all in total price was $90,935. Now I don't have to say it, this truck is ridiculously expensive. $90,000, whoa, that is big money. But listen, if you want the most ridiculous off-roader from GM, this is it. And this is basically a Denali Ultimate, which you'll see here in the interior. But up front, you have like this burnt bronze color on the grill. Hopefully you guys can see that. It looks really nice. AT4X badge. And check out the headlights. That's what you normally see on the other trims too. Front and forward facing camera. And I actually like the red on the GMC too. They give you an AEV plate up front right there. And then down below, that's hard metal right there, guys. You see some of the suspension right there. Some Multimatic DSSV, which stands for Dynamic Suspension Spool Valve. And check out the fog lights right here. Now hopefully you guys can see, but these are your heavy duty cast recovery hooks too. Wow really robust parking sensors you still have the active grill shutters too and then just check out some of your clearance i think aev has some of the best bumpers in the business i don't really like off-road bumpers but theirs are the only ones i would definitely choose if i were looking to upgrade a lot of ground clearance too now check this out too like this little bolster on the side that is plastic, but it does look good and it does flow well with the bumper. Now, these wheels are not available on the ZR2. I like these wheels the best, personally. Goodyear Wrangler tires, these are the Territory MTs. 275, 70, 18, which is gonna be a 33 inch tire. And these are gonna be a 12 spoke too, just so in case you were trying to count. And now these are gonna be your rocker protection too. These would look to be running boards. I tried stepping on them on the ZR2. They don't work that well for steps, so I'll be honest. And then you can check out that AT4X badge. Now overall, the Sterling Metallic is really, really nice on this truck. You can tell that it does have a two inch lift too. You get that with the AT4. 24 gallon fuel tank. Now something to point out is, if you were to look at a regular Sierra 1500, the leaf pack would look different. They do add an additional leaf back here. I think either one or two leaves, I can't remember now, but there is five leaves in the main pack. And this is very similar to the HDs, which are the three quarter tons. As far as the tire capacity goes, I don't think I showed it to you. It's right there, 2,680 pounds at 50 PSI. You do lose the side step when you get the AEV bumpers, which is okay with me. I mean, these trucks don't really sit that high anyways, but out back, you have that matted trim on the tailgate. That really does finish it off on the Sterling. Man, it's so pretty. And then check out your bumpers. You still have your inputs for your trailer, for your camera, seven pin, class four receiving hitch. 
and parking sensors. Multi-pro tailgate, camera and light for your conventional hitch. Kicker audio. However, it does not have the lights built in back here. And they do provide this handle to get into the tailgate. Lights, cameras, and then you have some action back here for some power. And good on GM to stamp AT4X in the back of the bed. I don't know how many of these trucks are gonna actually sell, but you have to do AT4, AT4X, Denali. It's pretty cool that they allow that to be stamped into the bed. Like that's a really nice attention to detail and most manufacturers aren't gonna do that. And then here's a nice look at the paint and the shade. And look at that backdrop there, guys. Look at that, woo. Man, God bless Utah. Black door handles go well with the paint. I don't know if I pointed out, but sliding glass. And here's that camera below the mirror with the puddle light. And let's go ahead and check out the hood, but fender flares too are part of this package. After you see the interior, I think that you're gonna really truly believe that this is the best off-roader on the market. But this is the only thing holding them back right now. It's this engine. This is a torquey engine and it has a lot of power. 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque, made it to a 10 speed transmission, 323 gears, which is another problem, but we won't talk about it in this video. I think this truck needs a supercharger. If this truck had about 650 horsepower, I think that that would be more than enough. They don't have to compete with the Raptor R and the TRX. They just need to stay in their lane like they've always done well and make this engine just make more power. It's the same thing goes for the HD segment. I've said it before. I think that the 6.6 .6 liter needs more horsepower. And yeah, if they did that and keep the price under $100,000, I think that they could have a true winner in this segment because the other two with superchargers are well over $100,000 because most of those trucks have adjusted pricing too from the dealers. So here is where I think the AT4X is winning. This interior is on another level. You see that? Suede headliner. These leather seats are amazing. I love the ZR2. I like this one a little bit better. Like this interior design is fire. You can even see in here, they finish this off in leather. And of course you have places here for bottle holders and then storage. But like you look at the trim pieces. Here's some of the controls, badging, door controls and seat controls there for memory. And they give you like this burnt wood trim piece. I think this is real wood too. Soft touch. This is just a nice interior, done well. It has massaging seats. I mean, this truck is just fire, and you can do it all in comfort while you're going off-road. Electronic parking brake, four-wheel drive and driving modes, lighting. You can see the stock there for your windshield wipers and high beams. 12.3 inch display, heads-up display right there. 13.4, paddle shifters, and then cruise control with heated seat. And this is how you control this screen. Let's go ahead and start it up. Like this big glob of aluminum for this push button start there too. By the way, the cooled seats come on automatically when it's hot outside. Like it's not hot, hot. I mean, it was hot to me, honestly. It's 81 degrees and that's, it's, it feels hot today. But yeah, just really quickly. There's so many ways you can customize this screen. I won't go through all of it. Let me just go ahead and buckle up my seatbelt. You can disable that too, but I'm not gonna do it right now. But as you guys can see, you can change the layout. You can go with more progressive, which is this one here. Digital. And clean. You also have, actually let me go back and put it back to classic. You can also change what you see on the left and right side. You can see them illuminating. So here's some of the stuff that you can change. And it's gonna be the same as the right side. So just keep that in mind. And also you can customize the lower gauges too.
so you can see the maximum amount of information or the minimum amount. Now as far as some of the information you see, this is just a short listing of it, but speed, drive summary, trip one and two, timer, tire pressure, driver assistance, oil life, brake life, air filter life, and then you have blank page. You can also put your transmission temp in there as well. As far as this screen goes, this has a lot of different things in here. I'll show this to you in a second, but check out the dash, some of the stitching and the piping. This is like a leatherette up here too. It's not like real leather, but it feels nice to the touch. And then even on the side, you can see they finish this off in like a leather material or leatherette. And again, it feels really smooth. Center console, like check out the grain in this leather there. Stitching has like a burgundy and white stitching. It looks really good. There is noticeably a lot of hard plastics. A lot of people complain about the trailer brake being here too. I mean, I kind of feel the same way. Now down below, a little bit of storage. You have two USBs. You have a Type A, which is furthest to the front, and then a Type C back behind it. Charger for the phone. Storage. Super nice. Here's a button for this. And let me show you guys the seats one more time. Perforated leather, heated and ventilated, and you still have that same trim on the sides of the seat as you saw on the center console. Really nice attention to detail, guys. So here's the passenger side and some of the storage up here. This is all like a soft touch too. Great trim piece right there that runs all the way across. And this is finished in Velcro. And then you have this below. And then here's some of your controls right there. I love that they finished the roof with this suede. It looks really nice. And I saw a sticker in here. It says, truck camper loading information. This truck should not be used to carry a sliding camper. There you go. You heard it here first. And then Bose sound system. Now out back, here are the floor mats here. And then the back seats have the storage area. Cup holders. You can tilt the headrest too. Outboard heated seats, USBs, air vents, and cup holders. And the floor is a flat floor surface too. Sorry these floor mats are in the way, but you can kind of see right there. Flat floor surface. And I would like to see them make this cab a little bit larger too. This should have the 16 speaker bows as well. Man, this is really nice. All finished in that leather. I tend to forget to show you guys these camera views, but 360 camera as you saw, and you can turn the bird's eye view off and have full screen if you like. Now it's not full full screen, there's still a little gray area right there. Frontal and rear camera views, you can turn off the lines or you can switch them for if you're backing up to a trailer. You also have this camera view. And for the frontal, this is good for your tires if you're going off road, which also shows rear. If you're towing a trailer again, you have a bird's eye view of that and bed camera that you can zoom into. Now, this is the navigation. This is the Google. This is actually new from 2022. If you hit the home button, that's going to be your friend. This is how you get to this menu and you have your audio, your maps. I do like that you have that split screen. It's that little arrow that's pointing to the left and you can show your audio and your navigation. Wireless, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And last thing I'll show you guys, if you have Android Auto and you don't want your Apple CarPlay, you can move this over to the other screen. That way it's not there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the payload. I'm actually a little bit ashamed. I forgot to show you these buttons here, but the ones that are most important are these two. You can lock that rear axle or you can lock both. I don't think I need to show this to you guys anymore because yeah, when you get these higher trim levels, you're gonna get that camera. Well, here it is guys. Here are the axles. 
They're both 3,800 pounds front and rear. And then you have the gross fuel weight rating, which should be like 7,400 pounds personally. I think that should be a little bit higher because this truck has a lot of stuff on it. Gross combined weight rating is going to be 15,000 pounds. Curb weight is 6,094 pounds and max payload is 1,006 pounds. It shows here conventional trailering is 8,700 pounds and yeah, I think that you're going to be pretty limited because of this payload. And here's the tire specs there. But that will pretty much wrap up this truck. I didn't show you guys the seating controls, but you can actually control the bolstering, the top here for the shoulders and massage function. I, I will have a video up at some point showing you how that all works. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned for it. But if you are in the market, be sure to reach out to Jerry Signer Buick GMC here in South Jordan, Utah. This truck is sold, like I said, but I'm pretty sure they'll have more coming in. See you guys in the next video.